Howdy chums! My name is Mohidan. People, today I'm going to show you how to create this very simple uh, fluid layout. Now in this example, I've used just one div or a division. I've used a picture. I've used a table. And uh, notice how as I adjust the width, uh, the table and the uh, image adjust themselves, how the size changes. See how it uh, drops and see how it doesn't drop below a certain value. Uh, okay, now I'm using a 22 inch monitor myself, the so Samsung uh, HD 22 inches monitor. Now, notice how the you know the layout is from the extreme left of the uh, monitor to the extreme right. It's a fluid layout, and now I'm gonna you know crunch the uh, or condense the width, and notice how uh, the text wraps itself to the next line. Notice how the uh, image size drops and notice how the uh, table uh, size drops too okay now notice the images uh, image size is dropping now okay and also notice that uh, the table size or the table width does not drop below a certain value that's simply because a minimum width property has been used out here see now notice that the uh, image width is dropping Okay, but then again, I've specified that it should not drop below a uh, hundred pixels. So a minimum width uh, property has been used at several places out here. I've also used the minimum height property for the only single div that I've used out here. Okay, so to create this simple uh, web page layout or simple fluid layout, responsive layout, I've used the minimum width uh, and the minimum height properties at several places. So, so in order to uh, have such a liquid, uh, responsive CSS layout, a simple layout though, but once you know how to use the properties like uh, min width, min height, uh, max width, min width, as you can see out here, once you know how to do it, uh, then you can, uh, then you are ready to tackle much complex uh, layouts, two column, three column layouts with a header and a footer right but you you'll get an idea out here so uh let me first take you through the html and then we'll uh, come back to the css right um this is the doc type 4.01 transitional okay now uh the body of the document which starts in line number 49 ends out here in line number 76 contains just one div which has a class of wrapper which wraps up everything. Basically this image, the table, the uh, h1 element and the paragraph element it wraps everything else. Okay, has a class of wrapper. Uh, and then inside the division we have an image. Uh, the image, the Dream Beaver image, is a, it's a PNG image, sits inside an images folder which sits inside an assets folder. But then the structure of your uh, uh, folders may be a little different. I also made sure that the align for the image is set to left which will mean that the text will wrap itself around the uh, image. Okay. Next we have an h1 element and next we have a paragraph with some dummy text. Okay. Next up people we have a table with the border of one cell spacing cell padding set to zero. Uh, immediately after the table tag we have the caption tag that is the way it should be. Uh, this is the caption and then we have the table row table data next up we finish the table tag out here we close the uh, div out here the body closes itself out here in line number 76 so that is the uh, simple layout now uh, we must discuss the CSSS how it was made uh, uh, fluid how uh, why do the images you know shrink and the table shrinks they although they do shrink with the width of the um, layout but uh, if you have noticed it doesn't uh, you know go uh, below a certain uh, value notice as the table crunches itself uh, it does not shrink uh, below 400 I think that is the value that I've set min with 400 and as far as the uh, image is concerned doesn't go uh, under 100 pixels that is the val value that I've set okay also notice that the minimum height for the uh, layout does not fall uh, below 400 px I think that is the value we, we, we I have set and we'll check on that okay so again uh, very um, intelligent uh, or useful use of uh, 
the max width min width uh, min height properties okay i uh, 6 and below uh, do not support these properties people i8 uh, supports these properties as long as the doc type is specified so just uh, remember all that okay now uh, let's look at the css uh, what i've done out here is i've reset the margin so for the body the h1 which is out here and for the paragraph which is out here i made sure that the uh, margin should be uh, reset to zero so it's more like the reset rule okay the color which is defaulting to black i've reset i've you know change it to white that is the reason why you see uh, white font all over okay now for the h1 and the paragraph uh, elements of the tags uh, which you see out here and out here i made sure that the uh, padding should be 10 px so some space all around just creating some room all around Okay, now the wrapper, uh, the class wrapper is the only, uh, uh, has been attached to the only div that we have out here in this uh, simple fluid layout and uh, that is responsible for this uh, darkish gray shade, so that background color is dark gray with 100% that makes sure that, uh, you know, it occupies the whole width from left to the right edge. The minimum width I've set at 320, so it's smartphone uh, ready. So it will not go below 320 pixels, and the min height is uh, the minimum height will always be um, 400 px. So, see, ta let's take a multi screen preview and notice uh, this is the way it looks in the uh, smartphone. Okay, this is how it actually looks in the tablet, and this is how it actually looks in the desktop. So, pretty responsive, isn't it, people? Fits uh, all the three devices very well. Notice how the uh, table size drops, how the image size drops, you know, and uh, adjusts itself very, very well. So, uh, so min height has been used out here for the wrapper, the only div. Uh, max min, min height and min width have been used out here. Uh, people, let me just inform you that this CSS and this HTML, in fact, the whole file is available as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one number one. That is, I'll leave the link in the des description of this tutorial. And uh, next, we have a rule out here that is for the image inside the wrapper, which is this image. If there are uh, more than one images, then it will apply to all those images inside the wrapper. And uh, let's read the rule, how it actually um, looks. So the max width uh, has been set to 25%. So no matter what, the maximum width of the image will not be beyond 25% of the total width available. Okay, at the same time, uh, the min width has been set to 100px. So since we have the max width in percentage, min width in pixels, when I stretch and condense the or collapse the width, you can see the image uh, go up and down too. Okay, so that is a trick that has been used. Or that is the formula that has been used. Uh, for the table, which is inside the wrapper, okay, wrapper is the, uh, the class attached to the div, the only div. The width is the 40%. The min width has been set to uh, a 400px, and uh, the margin has been set to uh, uh, a cushion, you know, a 10px cushion all around the table. Okay, and for the TD, the table data inside the table row, inside the table, inside class wrapper. So a descendant rule, people. The padding is uh, 5px. This is these are we have six cells, six TDs out here. So the space inside the TD is uh, 5px. The background color, very close to the color uh, black pound sign uh, 11111. This shade inside these cells. Okay, and we have some uh, rules for the uh, element caption. Caption side is a property that most of you may not have ever heard. I've set it to bottom. That pushes, see, once I go to the live view, you can see the caption is uh, pushed to the bottom. Normally, it would be at the top like this. When I'm off the live view, it's at the top. Okay, so the caption side property is pushing it to the bottom. And the uh, text align property is making sure it's not in the center, but the left, the default is the center. So I'm pushing it to the uh, bottom left corner. See, let me take the live view again. If these two properties were not used, it would have be sitting up out here on the top and the center. Okay, the text decoration underlined, quite clearly underlined. 
uh, word spacing so creating some space between the words 5px font weight bold making it bold that is okay I've used a bottom and a top margin to separate the uh, caption from the table and the bottom cool okay and uh, this internal CSS is encapsulated in the closing and the opening style tag with the type attribute immediately follows the title tag which is out here the opening and the uh, closing title tag okay so this is the way the CSS and the HTML actually looks people uh, once again I've used uh, the max with min with the min without your min without your I've used these properties uh, a lot and that is why uh, I have this uh, simple fluent layout so once you you know how to use these properties you know you can uh, you are then ready to tackle on uh, a lot complex uh, uh, fluid uh, CSS layouts so people I hope you enjoyed this tutorial learned a lot from this and I'll hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.